While we're not expecting anything like what we've seen up in New England so far this year, we are expecting a pretty respectable storm, and uh, that's going to mean a big impact on traveling around the area. Metro's already suspended its Metro access service as of 6 o'clock tonight. Brianne Carter's live at the Grosvenor Station in Bethesda with a check on more of Metro's plans and uh, conditions at the local airports as well. Brianne? Leon, they're going to be watching not only the roads closely, but also the rails, specifically tracks like the one that lead here into the Grosvenor Metro Station. Those that are above ground, they're going to be looking for this, any snow that starts to build up. From planes to trains. Changes in travel thanks to Mother Nature. I better not even come out of the house, stay home. <laughs> Starting at 6 tonight and running through the day tomorrow, Metro access service will be suspended. As for Metro bus, as the winter weather moves in, expect delays and detours. On the rails, de-icing equipment will be used to, as officials keep a close eye on how much snow starts to build on the tracks. If it's a, a, a quick snowfall um, and it accumulates to that 8-inch mark, that's where you start seeing us um, having to contemplate some, some uh, service adjustments. At Reagan National Airport, some flights are already canceled. Really hope that we get back today. <laughs> this group of students has been stuck in D.C. a day longer than they hoped after their flight to Boston was canceled. Now they're concerned the snow could again make it difficult to get back to class. If we get delayed a little bit here and then like something goes wrong in New York, like we could not get into Boston until tomorrow, and that, that'd be awful. Roland Grondon and his family are also trying to get out of D.C. ahead of the storm. Worried their plane at 10 tonight won't get off the ground. They're going to try standby on another flight. Oh, Thank you. Well, go, go to me today. And at last check, fingers crossed for them. Now, the airport's authority says they will have people monitoring both the roads and also the runways. Meanwhile, back here live looking at those tracks, that is exactly what Metro is going to be watching throughout the night. You heard them mention that magic number of eight. They say depending on how this snow falls and exactly how it starts to build up, that is the magic number they start to look for when they possibly could make some changes to service on the rails. Reporting live, Brianne Carter, ABC 7 News.